July 26th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Psalms chapters 87 and 88 from the Old Testament The Lord's city is in the holy hills. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob. People say wonderful things about you, O city of God. Selah I mention Rahab and Babylon to my followers. Here are Philistia and Tyre along with Ethiopia. It is said of them, this one was born there. But it is said of Zion's residents, each one of these was born in her, and the Sovereign One makes her secure. The Lord writes in the census book of the nations, this one was born there. Selah As for the singers as well as the pipers, all of them sing within your walls. O Lord God who delivers me, by day I cry out, and at night I pray before you, listen to my prayer, pay attention to my cry for help, for my life is filled with troubles and I am ready to enter Sheol. They treat me like those who descend into the grave. I am like a helpless man adrift among the dead, like corpses lying in the grave, whom you remember no more, and who are cut off from your power. You place me in the lowest regions of the pit, in the dark places, in the watery depths. Your anger bears down on me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves. Selah. You cause those who know me to keep their distance. You make me an appalling sight to them. I am trapped and cannot get free. My eyes grow weak because of oppression. I call out to you, O Lord, all day long. I spread out my hands in prayer to you. Do you accomplish amazing things for the dead? Do the departed spirits rise up and give you thanks? Selah. Is your loyal love proclaimed in the grave or your faithfulness in the place of the dead? Are your amazing deeds experienced in the dark region or your deliverance in the land of oblivion? As for me, I cry out to you, O Lord. In the morning, my prayer confronts you. O Lord, why do you reject me and pay no attention to me? I am oppressed and have been on the verge of death since my youth. I have been subjected to your horrors and am numb with pain. Your anger overwhelms me. Your terrors destroy me. They surround me like water all day long. They join forces and encircle me. You cause my friends and neighbors to keep their distance. Those who know me leave me alone in the darkness. God, this last psalm that is actually a, a song written by Heman, the Ezrakite. I've felt that way. I suspect everybody listening to this video has felt that way. And then sometimes when I feel this way, I feel like I'm not being right. I'm not being godly. I'm not being holy. By crying out like this, I feel like I'm wrong on so many levels yet it's pretty much all I can do when I get into those situations where it feels like my friends and family have abandoned me nothing is going right I can't seem to do anything right and you've you've taken away any grace or mercy that you have from me uh, whether something that that's actually happened or that's just simply an illusion that I've bought into but yet here it is in the Bible and I think that alone should bring comfort to many people who are going through those horrid situations where nothing seems to be a possibility at all, where there is definitely no light at the end of the tunnel. And yet here it is pretty much right in the middle of the Bible, a cry out for help. We see a little shimmer of light in the fact that the song the psalmist cries out and says you have put this on me you did that so we also know you can take it off of that person but one of the things we have to remember when we are at our lowest of lows when it's so dark we can't even see especially for those of us who deal with depression and what that black sticky tar like substance feels like in our lives when we get to that situation is we can't give up crying out for you even if it's a cry of sheer pain like this psalm is we can't turn away from you we have to keep praying to you we have to keep asking you what can I work on look at me God I'm not really sure what I need what else I need to do but you need to do some pruning because obviously I haven't got this right yet 
God, please just come into my life and show me what it is I need to work on, even if it hurts worse than where I'm at right now, because all I want to do is please you. All I want to do is be right with you again. God, I just ask for everybody listening on this video that if they're in that dark place where there's no way out, it's as though you're in a pitch black room. No one is there with you. You are all alone. God, I just ask that you remind them that there is still grace from you. There still is mercy that can come from you. That if we cry out to you, even if it's in pain of why have you left me, God, that we are still turning to you. We're still opening our hearts to you. We're still humbling ourselves before you. God, I pray for everyone who's listening who is in that place right now. I know what that feels like. I know very well what that feels like. And it feels like you have nowhere to turn. But this psalm right in the middle of the Bible gives us hope. Hope that there is always one that we can turn to. One who will listen to us even if it feels like you're not. One who created us and loves us more than we even understand. That there is a way out and it's only through God. It's not through drugs, it's not through alcohol, it's not through sex, and it's definitely not through suicide. That there's only one who can help us. God, I just ask that they cry out to you for help, and through their utterings and their painful pleas, that you hear what is really going on in their heart, and that you show them what they need to do to get out of that place. And then, God, I just ask that once we're out of that place, that we remember who brought us out of that place, that we remember that it is all about you, even though I have no doubt you will send friends in to help us in those situations, that it is truly all about you, that it is you who takes us out of those situations, who puts us back into your light, puts us back into your grace and mercy, and allows us to breathe again. God, thank you for loving us in a way that I will never understand. To depths that I can't even imagine with my human brain. But I am very thankful that you do. We love you also. In our own small, tiny, humble way. In your son's name I pray. Amen.